welcome to the 10 days of prayer 2023 with our theme back to the altar you can find extra resources on the website www.10daysofprayer.org before we start this morning's session let us bow our heads in prayer dear heavenly father we have come to your throne of grace committing to you to pray for 10 days we ask dear heavenly father that you will be in our midst and that you will speak to us through your word this we pray in jesus name amen dear friends in this day our theme for day one where are you we are going to pray for a reconnected heart with god now our text for today is uh, genesis 3 verse 9 then the lord called to adam and said to him where are you the, that can be one of the most important questions for us today where are you after adam and eve sinned after they have fallen for the deception of satan they moved away from god they realized that they were naked and they went on to make for themselves clothes of leaves but when god came to them in the garden like he used to in the evening they were not there and god called out to them where are you my friends god knows everything he then knew where they were but he asked a question to the couple where are you meaning did they know where they find themselves because sin separates us from god and sometimes we think we are close to god but we are not in his presence we read from patriarchs and prophets page 54 satan represented to the holy pair that they would be gainers by breaking the law of god do we not today hear similar reasoning adam and eve made the mistake of listening to the devil and he convinced them that what god offered was not enough that communion with god in a close trusting relationship was not enough now this is exactly what satan said to adam and eve he said that you if you eat of this fruit you can be like god so he said what god offered you was not enough and isn't that also one of the things that is bothering our world today that people want more and more and they do not trust that what god gave them was enough for them in an instant the mild balmy climbs of eden now seem to chill the guilty pair after they have sinned the love and the peace which had been theirs was gone and in its place they felt a sense of sin a dread of the future a nakedness of soul the robe of light which had enshrouded them now disappeared and to supply its place they endeavored to fashion for themselves a covering for they could not while unclothed meet the eye of god and the holy angels that we read from patriarchs and prophets page 57 sin had changed the spiritual condition of the only creatures in eden that had the very image of god indeed it had shattered god's image in them friends how have the sins in our lives shattered the image of god in us it is time for us 
to return to the place where God wants to meet us. God wants to meet us every morning and every evening around His Word. Like He did with Adam and Eve, He came and He walked with them in the evening. So God wants to spend some time with you during the day. Please, let us return to the altar where we can come back to God, where we ourselves, but also with our families, can worship God together. Our verse for contemplation, and that we are going to pray about today, comes from Jeremiah 24, verse 7, and it reads as follows. I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. Here in the studio, we are going to do a prayer, but we are going to request you also to go into a season of prayer on your own or with the people that is there with you. In this season, we are going to request that you give thanks and praise the Lord for the blessings that He has bestowed upon you. We're also going to ask that you do confession of your sins. And here, we request that you do not just say, God, forgive me my sins, but name your sins specifically to God so that you can also know what you have done wrong. Next, ask for guidance in your life from the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit can be with you and guide you in what you should do for the Lord and what things you should change. Do not forget the World Church. Pray for the World Church and the leaders of the World Church. And also do not forget your local congregation and all the prayer requests that comes from your local congregation. After you have prayed, also listen and respond to God. Keep quiet for a few moments. Let God speak to you through His silent voice. And then you can respond either by giving thanks to God in prayer or through a song. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jeremiah you have expressed that you want to be our God. If we give our hearts wholeheartedly to you, then you will also call us your people. Dear Heavenly Father, in this day, we want to be called your people. We want to be called the sons and daughters of God. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for each one that is partaking in this 10 days of prayer. May your Spirit be upon them. May your Spirit lead them in such a way that they have a close encounter with you, their God. We ask, dear Heavenly Father, that all the requests, all the thanks, all the praises that will come to your throne of grace, that it may be acceptable to you as we worship you together and come closer to you in this new year of 2023. As the year lies ahead, we pray, dear Heavenly Father, that you will show us what we should do for you, that you will show us what we must change in our lives to be more like you as we are waiting your second coming. This we pray in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. God bless, friends.